I come in here looking like they've been sucking on prune lemons and persimmons. And I know I had a back brace on when I came in here, and I shot it anyhow. I don't back it and lock it in and lock it in, and I'm still going. Let me alone. Woo! Don't let nothing stop my praise. Don't let nothing stop me from shouting. Don't let nothing separate me. Listen, listen. Slow down. Give me just a couple of minutes. I'm an old style preacher. Give me just a couple of minutes. I'm coming. I soul versus sin. If you understand the text and you've heard these prolific dictators of the word give you an excellent explanation of gospel explicitness, or rather they gave you a sermonic presentation explaining or conveying to you what it meant to them that their savior died upon that cross. I don't like that movie. That movie disturbs me. I haven't watched the movie, but just the thought of reading what they did to him, I don't need to see it. Some folk don't understand the pain of that movie because the Bible says every time you sin, you crucify him all over again and put him to an open shame. And I don't know about you. I don't need to put him back on the cross. Our souls versus sin. The devil was the originator of sin. Some people think it was started with Adam and Eve. No, let me help you out. There was a booger in heaven by the name of Lucifer. Ah, uh, this booger, this angel was the head of the choir. And ain't it funny, they talk about my God brother, but ain't it funny that, that the control of worship has something to do with music? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all know about the control of music because when you're in the store and you hear Al Green, something going on. Three in the morning, yeah. You don't even consciously know it, but your head get to moving in your... Don't lie, because you ain't always been super sanctified. Some of y'all heard uh, Teddy P say, Turn him off! Turn and light a candle. Uh -huh, you know what I'm talking about. That's how half of y'all got here. Y'all parents turned them off. <laughs> Preach to the hood. Sin did not start with man. It started with Satan. Who was an angel? First John three and eight says that he committed sin, which is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For his purpose was to destroy the works of the Son of God, but that the Son of God might be manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Isaiah fourteen verses 20, 12, twelve through twenty one tells us that Satan fell from heaven. The Bible tells us that there was a war. Somebody shout, there was a war. I told you to be my family and talk to me. There was a war. Uh-huh. And Satan decided that he was going to ascend to the throne and that he would take over heaven. God said, you fool you. And the Bible said that he took a little angel out of the corner and behold, I saw Satan fall out of heaven like lightning. Somebody shout lightning. Well, this booger, this booger, this booger, Satan, this cut up angel found himself in misery. Somebody shot misery. Yeah. And grandmama, grandmama said that misery loved company. Uh, now, how many of you know when you had to go in time out, you would try and get your sister, your brother, your cousin in trouble so they can... Don't act fresh. Y'all remember that. Mama will put you in a room by yourself and tell you you're standing there and you try to get your cousin a pookie or nick nick and them. Come on, come on, come on. So that they would come and get in trouble with you because misery. Talk to me, somebody. And so the Bible says that Satan, if you go back and forth a second time, let it cut across the field. Because some of you don't understand that you did not start off in sin. The Bible says in Genesis, the second and the third chapter, that he made man in his image after his likeness. In other words, we were made holy. Somebody shout holy. Oh. And I must tell you, we were made holy because God is a holy God. Anybody know? He's a holy God. He's a righteous God. And when he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, he was talking to himself and the spirit ascended. Huh? And so when he made man, he made man a holy being. Huh? But he gave man one commandment. He, he told, he told Grandpa Adam to the tenth power, the one thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to eat off of this one tree. Huh? I don't want you to eat off of the tree of good and whether of knowledge of good versus 
versus bad. Somebody shout good versus bad. But you, 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 you do know that it was a woman that got man in trouble. Well, I'm going to help you women out. Y'all always want to be first. Talking about women's lib. Let you be first tonight. It was a woman that got that man in trouble. And if you are a real man, it's still women. Get man in trouble today because mighty are the works of his hand. He knew what he was doing when he made woman. Some of y'all kind of dry. Do y'all have any female counterparts? Woo, that was your chance to shout out. If you know you got a mighty as a work in his hand, just wave your hand. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, so who, if you want a mighty as the work in his hand, just wave your hand. Give me two. Thank you, God, for help me out there. Hallelujah. So the Bible said that this mighty work in his hand brought Adam this fruit. We don't know what it was. It didn't say it was an apple. It just said it was fruit. And the Bible says he did eat of that fruit, and they fell into sin, and Satan came in the form of a snake. And said that thou shalt not surely die. But ever since that day, we were tricked in the sin. And the Bible lets me know that man fell into sin. We fell into deprecation. We fell out of communion with God. The Bible tells me that since that time, God had to tell Satan that the fight is on. If you look in Genesis 3 and 15, God told this old slithery slew foot demon, he shall bruise your head. He said, I'm coming after you, Satan, after a while. But uh, he kicked uh, Brother Adam out of the garden. He told man, not yet, brother, let me ride a minute. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. He told him, you're going to till the soil of the earth with your hand. He told woman, y'all wonder why you gotta buy maxi pads and tampons because he told you, you were gonna suffer one time a month. Uh -huh. Preach to her, huh? I'm trying, but they won't get with me, huh? And so since we fell in the sin, somebody shout sin. Uh, we found ourselves separated from God. Huh? And so man had cried out all of this time for a deliverer. Somebody shout a deliverer. Uh, the Bible says, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, and Isaiah 53, he says, who shall believe our report? Yes, and to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed. Uh -huh. For he shall grow up before him as uh, a tender plant. Uh, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, uh, he was uh, despised. Uh, Y'all don't hear me. Uh, he was a man uh, acquainted with sorrow. Uh, 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 and uh, as it were, somebody shout as it were. Uh, as it were, uh, he hid our faces from him. Uh, but I heard, uh, I see a say, uh, he was despised uh, and esteemed him not. Uh, but surely, uh, somebody shout, surely. Uh,
ask him why. He hung his head. He did that. He died. To the sun. When tripping in blood. He died. To the moon. To his face. He died. Did the guy. The bright early. Sad early. Sunday morning. He got up. Six. 